and welcome to your go market update for today the 10th of october 2022 i hope you had a great weekend mike smith senior analyst here to set up the week for you and look at what's happening in markets now so on friday just to recap us equities suffered another sell-off unfortunately giving away most of the earlier week's gains the reason for this was not clear markets are still obviously nervous about where things are both from an economic data point of view and from the aggressiveness of central banks the jobs data did come in slightly weaker than expected though market sentiment suggests it wasn't sufficient to slow down the fed and a 0.75 percent increase in rates is expected next time the fed meet u.s futures are down but off the lows in asian trading we're seeing some buying coming in although that may be profit covering subsequent to friday's drop asian indices follow that weaker u.s lead but with the cost being nikkei closed the ASX is the major source of interest and it, that's down around about 1.4% as we're recording this in a very, very cautious session. European equity futures are pointing to a lower open, of course, uh, but that may change as the day progresses. In the FX front, we are seeing the US dollar index continue to move up. It is pretty neutral today. A little bit of strength in the GB pound, a little bit of weakness in the yen is noteworthy. Gold has paused at that 725 resistance and looks as though it's continuing to drop back down towards 1700. Oil continues to drive high and had another strong day on Friday, subsequent to OPEC and its production increase, decreases. And copper has weakened throughout last week and dropped back towards 340. The VIX is higher now back above 30, suggesting that that sentiment is just starting to feel uncomfortable again. Bitcoin is still trading around 20,000, so nothing remarkably changing there. And there's little significant data today, so we may get some technical repositioning. Markets may be cautious prior to the inflation data we've got due out of the US on Thursday and the FOMC minutes that are released on Wednesday. So that's where we're at. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye today so far. And we're going to have a quick look at the GB pound yen on a 30 minute chart. You can see we've got what looks like a double bottom formation just underneath this 161.40 level. If we look at the previous range that this pair was trading in, it was between this and around about 70 pips to the upside, around that 162.16 level. So that could be one to watch. It may be a little noisy up to around about 161.60. But if we break that level, I think we're showing some momentum to the upside. On the ASX, probably one of the interesting stories of the day is what's happening to Fortescue from a price point of view. You can see this engulfing candle today uh, showing some buying pressure coming in, although volume is low at this early point in the, in the session. But the moving averages short term looking as though they may cross uh, and this has been a price point at 17.65 that has been tested on the last four trading sessions so it'll be interesting to see if we can push through this with a potential upside to around about 18 to 18.50 one would reinforce though it is a cautious day and one where it perhaps makes sense to just continue to follow that market caution in your own trading Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.